Hey everyone, here I am with my Sony action camera, the FDR-X3000 and this is what they're calling the MC protector, it's essentially a lens protector for this action camera and it also fits the HDR AS300. The model number as you can see there is AKA MCP1. Now unfortunately this is kind of necessary, I think if you buy any Sony action camera you're going to have to buy a lens protector. I've spoke about this before but if you look in the camera there you can see that the lens there protrudes and if you drop this you damage the lens, if you damage the lens you have to replace the whole lens block and it's very expensive, you can only buy it from Sony and yeah you know you could actually be cheaper just buying a replacement camera, it is quite ridiculous. It's one of the limitations of Sony action cameras. Now I've got a lens protector for the, the larger X1000 and um, yeah that's what it looks like. I think it actually changes it from like a sexy little camera to something that looks a little bit silly but you need to protect the lens, if you damage the lens all your videos, all your shots are going to look bad um, so you just, you know, you just can't have that. Now on my GoPro 7 I've applied a screen protector on the front lens and the back screen but you can see there it's kind of behind glass, it's not like the lens protrudes, it's protected and if you did drop it and you smash this part you can just replace this top part. So. I think in that regard GoPro have certainly uh, designed it a lot be better, um, but the Sony does excel in other, other areas, you've got the, the tripod thread at the bottom, you've got an external mic port and all that, so every camera has its limitations and I think for the Sony it is the fact that the lens is exposed and it's not like you can put a screen protector on this curved lens. So let's get this open and we'll see what it's like. So the packaging is idiotic, it's, it's kind of annoying, it's one of those throwaway bags, I prefer if, if they just put everything in a little box, I don't see why they have to package it up like that. Um, anyway you get um, an instruction manual there showing you how it works, like so, and it's showing that you can connect this to the back of the camera, there. And this is the lens protector. Okay, I'll put this on and we'll see what it's like. So the lens protector is now on and I think it looks quite good. I think it looks a lot better than this one. This one kind of looks out of place. But this one uses the same white colour scheme as the action camera so it kind of blends in better. The only thing I don't really like I guess is the, the drawstring, I'll probably take this off. You know the idea being that if you're cleaning the lens or doing something this will just dangle down but when you've popped this on and then click lock it's pretty secure so I, I don't think this is really necessary. I don't think, yeah I don't think it really is necessary. Then when it's locked, you know when, it, when you pop it on, when it's unlocked you can kind of put it on and off quite easily but when it's locked it is quite secure so you know that's why I'm saying I don't think this is necessary because I'll probably keep this on most of the time anyway. But if you were applying force you would pull this off, it would, it would um, the lens protector would come away from the action camera. But just be careful of that because obviously that will damage the locking mechanism and I think that's what's happened with this one. This one even if it's locked you can kind of pop it off like that. So. I think that's just you know what happens over time with these things or maybe just if you force it off when it is locked. But for me I'll, I'll probably be keeping this on all the time. I don't think it looks that bad, it just you know it just kind of mimics the, the camcorder style that it's got. I just want to do a quick um, comparison between the, the cameras here just to show you what they all look like. So this is the Sony X3000, this is the X1000V and this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black and you can see the sensor size here, it's pretty impressive on the Sony there. Size wise the GoPro is a little bit smaller. Yeah, all in all I think this lens protector looks quite good. At the end of the day £30, $30, it does seem a lot for what is essentially just a little bit of plastic but I do believe this is a necessary purchase, I really do believe that because if you drop this camera when you're out 
you can scratch this, you can, you know, add marks. And when you do that, you're going to damage the sensor and then your shots aren't going to be good. You're going to have to replace it and it's going to be expensive. So I think for £30, for $30, yeah, for what it is, it's, it's an insurance policy. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If there's anything I didn't cover in the video, please do leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it for you guys. Till next time, guys. Take care.